Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be sharing my current daily routine with you. This video is also very kindly sponsored by UCAS. The first thing I do when I get up is some yin yoga. Yin yoga is basically a type of yoga which focuses on stretching. It's just really mindful, really meditative, and I find it's a great way to wake my body up and just stretch out my muscles after sleeping. Then I will put on some headphones and I love to listen to some kind of feel good acoustic music in the morning so usually that's something like Jack Johnson and I will listen to that whilst I make my bed. Then I will go into the bathroom, I will open up the shutters and I will brush my teeth and whilst I'm brushing my teeth I will either read or I will listen to a TED talk through my headphones. I will also do some morning skincare so that's basically using my Glossier cleanser. and then I will go downstairs for breakfast. So then it's time to get started with work. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I love to light candles. And the very first thing I do is plan my day and the things I need to get done. So today I was using my master to-do list. But before we get on to the work I did today, I want to tell you about UCAS Discovery Days, with UCAS very kindly sponsoring today's video. So as I said, today's video is sponsored by UCAS, which I genuinely find so unbelievable to say, like UCAS, actual UCAS. UCAS is providing online discovery days for prospective university students aged 16 to 17. A free way for you to access resources, ask questions and really start to make up your mind about where you want to apply and what you want to apply for. So as I said it's online and they have six zones. So the standout one is the live lounges which is a really relaxed and informal space where students, real students, will answer questions about university. I also love the sound of the Discover University zone, which I think is like a really useful thing on top of open days because you're able to make these comparisons between universities and even compare the responses that different universities have to like certain questions. The support zone too sounds really helpful. It's where you can get practical advice on things like personal statements, CVs, student loans. So these UCAS Discovery Days will be running on the 20th and 21st of April and then on the 5th of May and as I said they are free and I will leave a link in the description if you want to sign up. I treated research into universities as one of the most valuable ways of using my time because it's such a massive decision. This is where you're going to be studying for the next three or four years of your life. Putting in an extra few hours is definitely worth it. These Discovery Days do really sound very useful. Okay, so anyway, back into my daily routine. I'm using Forest today to track my study session and I tend to start with something which is quite quick, just so I have something to take off my to-do list, like a piece of reading, and then I will move on to my hardest task of the day. So I was working on the next draft of my essay, So then I tidy my room and if you're wondering, this is my outfit of the day. Things can get quite samey-samey when you're studying from home. If you're studying remotely, then you'll know this. Just kind of always being in the same spot and in the same position can get a bit repetitive. And so I've been trying to change up my location and I just decided to work out this little coffee table in the middle of my bedroom. So I worked on my essay for a little longer and then I moved on to doing some preparation for my 24 hour at home exams, which I have at the beginning of next month. So I am doing lots of research and academic reading in preparation for these exams, just so I go into them with optimal levels of understanding. I was just planning the readings I wanted to do for one of the exams and then I got started on reading, I think maybe three papers. So 
So then after that, at around 11.30, I did some yoga. I love to do an actual yoga flow as well as the yin yoga. The yin yoga is just, as I said, pretty much stretching. The flow I do really does depend. I kind of do it, I do it quite intuitively. I will do yoga for about 20 minutes and then this day my mum and I went on a walk to the post box. So I always like to go on a walk, usually I'll go by myself, usually I'll go for a longer walk too but today I just went on a half an hour walk with my mum and Lola our dog. Then I had lunch and after lunch I tend to work on YouTube related things so that might be filming or just admin and I always start with emails. And then after doing that for a while, I went outside again and I just went on the trampoline. I love to go on the trampoline in the afternoons. I just find it really good fun. And then after that, I read outside for a bit. So at the moment, I'm reading this book, How We Learn, which is a kind of like history of the psychology of learning. When I got back inside, I was a bit packaged, so I had a protein bar and I also had a wheatgrass shot. These are really good for you and I have one every day. Back up in my room, I just did a bit of cleaning, so I disinfected my desk and also all of my sides. And my room felt a lot nicer afterwards, it definitely did need that clean. So we just got back from the charity shop. I managed to find the loveliest set of teacups and dessert plates. So for all of it, it was only £14.50 as well, which is really, really good for like a matching set. So this is one of the sorts. I got four of these dessert plates and they've got this really nice floral design around the sides and these are just the prettiest things. I had some afternoon tea when I got back. I like to call this ceremonial tea because I just love the ritual of preparing it really nicely and having loose leaf and having it out of my teapot. I also really wanted to try out the new teacups that I got. After enjoying my tea, I went outside and I did some writing. I always make time for writing every day and I tend to do it in the late afternoons. So I brought my laptop outside and it was really sunny, if not very cold. I did get pretty cold though, so I went inside after a while and wrote some more at my desk and I also did a little bit more YouTube work before dinner. We have dinner at around 7 o'clock and we always eat together as a family.
After dinner, I like to make myself some tea. I have some kind of bedtime tea, so something with chamomile in. And I will also fill up a hot water bottle. And then in the evenings, my family and I will usually watch something together. So this evening, my mum, sister and I watched a film and that was really nice. Also, yes, I was sitting on the floor because I find it so crazy to sit on the floor by the fire. My mum and sister don't understand it, but I just find it's the best spot in the house when you are watching a film. Then whilst I'm getting ready for bed, I will listen to a TED talk again. So usually something related to climate change or how we can be more sustainable. Then I will get into bed and I will do some journaling and also read, of course. I try to turn off the light by 10.30 so that I can wake up early the next morning and not be tired. But yes, that is my current daily routine. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you again to UCAS for sponsoring today's video and I hope that you have a productive week.